Note those differences, especially when we talk about heat exhaustion and heat stroke, because one versus the other, especially when you get into the heat stroke category, that's when you start to talk about an emergency situation when 911 should be called. So here's the differences I've listed out for you. You usually feel faint or dizzy. Uh, you have ex excessive sweating, uh, cool palm pale skin, uh, kind of get some cramps too uh, in terms of heat exhaustion. That's the, kind of the signs there. Both nausea and vomiting can be experienced for both. But when you notice heat stroke, one of the major differences is you stop that sweating, you get more of a headache and you get that hot and dry skin and maybe even lose consciousness. So what do you do in each of these cases? Well, you get to a cool air conditioned place for heat exhaustion, drink plenty of water, get to um, a shaded area if you're outside and take a cool shower or use a cold compress to kind of relieve some of those symptoms. If you get to a heat stroke, definitely a good idea to call 911.